All right. Um, now I'm going to talk about uh, whether uh, this whole issue about whether the military may imprison terrorism suspects mm -hmm. captured in U.S. soil without a trial. Yeah, absolutely. We're at war. I mean, What's wrong with that? Give them a trial. Well, you know, you don't try people in war. You, you put them in, you, you take them off the battlefield. Do you believe we're at war? Yes, I believe we're at war. But, it, but, I think it, but if you pick up an American what? citizen I, on our soil and you can hold them without bond and you can try them, I think that... Well, they, you know, here's the law. You can pick up an American citizen and hold them only if they're helping al-Qaeda. And every American citizen, every foreign terrorist caught in the United States will be presented before a federal judge, and the government has to prove by preponderance of the evidence that you're actively involved in assisting al-Qaeda to attack this country. We don't give enemy prisoners trials. We keep them off the battlefield, but we're going to give everybody captured in America their day in federal court. When? But we're not going to crump. Well, they get it. They have so a right habeas, away? right? Yeah, within 120 days, most of them go before a federal judge. I'm willing to do it within 30 days. I'm willing to say that everybody captured in the United States, citizen or not, has to be presented before a federal judge, and the government has to prove you're helping Al Qaeda. And if they can prove that to the federal judge, we should hold you as long as it takes to make sure that you're no longer a threat and we know what you know. We're not fighting a crime, we're fighting a war, and if bin Laden were caught in the United States, I think most Americans would be offended with this legislation being proposed by Congressman Smith that you have to take every terrorist caught in the United States, give them a federal court trial, and read them their rights. These are terrorists who are trying to kill us. They're not common criminals, and the last thing a terrorist should hear trying to blow up America is you got the right to remain silent. Here's your lawyer. Senator, thank you, sir. Thank you. NFL News